Hello there, here's the latest update on the new parole in place program. So this new parole in place program was a US immigration reform program that was introduced by President Biden in June 2024, implemented August 2024, and it allows the legalization of certain immigrant spouses and stepchildren of US citizens who enter the US illegally without having them to leave the country. So they would be given humanitarian parole and a path to permanent residency or a green card. So the program is called Keeping Families Together KFT or Parole in Place PIP. Now here's a timeline of some more of the events that have unfolded since the program's implementation. USCIS began to accept applications under the new parole program on August 19, 2024. On August 23rd, 16 Republican-led states, um, including Texas, they filed a complaint to block DHS's Keeping Families Together KFT Parole in Place program. The program um, was just in effect for one week until it was blocked in court. So on August 26th, 2024, Judge Baca of the ED Texas, Eastern District Court of Texas, he issued an administrative stay of the KFT PIP program for at least 14 days. Just this week, a couple of days ago, the district court judge, um, Judge Campbell Baca, issued another order extending the administrative stay. And this means that they are still preventing USCIS from approving any KFT or PIP applications for an additional 14 days. And so now the administrative stay has been extended all the way through to September 23rd. The initial stay was set to expire on September 9th. Um, so this is unfortunate news. However, an important thing to note is that USCIS can continue to accept and review PIP applications, but they cannot grant or approve any parole applications. I hope this helps. All the best. Follow me for more.